how to blend and make gradients with markers. Hello my creative friends, it's Olga Sarokina here and in this video tutorial I'd love to share with you my principles of making gradients with markers, uh, principles of blending and mixing colors. I hope you will enjoy this tutorial, so let's get started. So let's begin. Let's put the first layer on our paper, like this. Here in this video tutorial I use style file markers, then give it some time to dry, put second layer, once again you can touch it so to understand better if it's dry or still wet. If it's wet uh, it can look like this. If you're working too fast with your marker and not giving any time to dry out, uh, the result is that the ink, the marker ink, begins to spread out. By doing like this you will not get nice gradient, uh, so give it some time. A little tip to make the process uh, a little bit faster is to just blow on your marker, just blow on this first layer, so it will dry a little bit faster. Well, for now I'd like to show you my blending process, so Let's, for example, mix orange color and dark red color. And here, otherwise, uh, in comparison with gradient, making gradients with markers, here I do not give my markers, my ink, any time to dry out, so I work as fast as possible. To say here I use special marker paper, marker pad, uh, it is Canson marker pad, the paper which quickly absorbs the marker. So as you can see on the edges, dark red color is absorbed already. And now I am trying to create some kind of lighting effects. Let's blend these two colors once again. But first of all, I want to repeat my process of creating gradients. So to make this process a little bit quicker, you just need to blow on it like, like this. And after that I want to once again mix dark red color, this beautiful color of red wine and my orange marker. So here otherwise I don't give any time and I work as fast as possible. And these two colors are completely... these two inks are very wet, so they mix really easily. And here you can see that uh, red color was absorbed by paper. Now let's draw a chair by using this technique of uh, creating gradients and blending technique. So, first of all, I make a quick sketch of an easy chair with my black liner. It's Copic Multiliner. Uh, if you're interested, uh, please check my interior sketches on my website. And next step, I take this dark red color and fill in this form by using two different nibs. Uh, usually markers, ha markers have two nibs, uh, the white one and uh, the thin one. And now I just make a gradient but diagonally. So as you can see I make it a little bit darker and darker. So we tested creating gradients on a real object. And now our second technique I showed you was blending. So basically I mixed orange marker with dark red wine marker uh, and you know markers are perfect at mixing with each other. Professional markers such as this one, style file, uh, of course Copic, chart pack markers, pro markers, they are great at mixing so you can, uh, by using two colors you can create the third one 
It's time to refine our chair with white pastel pencil and first of all I will check marker ink, how wet or how dry it is. If it is wet I blow on it like this once again uh, because if it is wet uh, pastel pencil will not work, will not work uh, as it should be. So the surface uh, should be absolutely dry and now I retouch my chair a little bit so we can get uh, this feeling of nice velvet texture. Good idea is to use white general pen to remove some imperfections, to remove unnecessary things from your drawing. And finally I like to use black ma marker to refine the silhouette of the chair to make it more vivid, more interesting. Uh, it gives some graphic feeling and make my drawing more stylish, more interesting. As a final touch for this sketch, I will add my white general pen to the legs. And finally, let's test all these principles on a sphere. Let's draw a ball, a sphere. Uh, let's assume that our light source is uh, from the left. It's, the light is coming from the left. So all our shadows, drop and cast shadows, are on the right side. Once again, the first principle, the first idea is to give the marker ink some time to dry. And after it dried, you can put second layer, give it a time to dry, put third layer and so on and so on. It's truly a remarkable feature of all professional markers to uh, deepen the color, so you have the ability to put as many layers as you want. You can make color really deep, really beautiful and brilliant. Uh, finally, let's put uh, some white dot on our sphere to enhance uh, the lighting effect, to give it some shine. To finish this sphere, I will make a black silhouette with black marker and uh, I will remove some imperfections. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. The main idea of this tutorial was to inspire you to experiment. I would like you to make your own <laughs> explorations with markers, test different ways. There are different ways to mix colors, to make gradients and uh, blendings. Just find, just search, just test and experiment. It's really very interesting. So that's pretty much it for all my gradients and textures. I hope uh, that that was useful for you guys. And please share this video and subscribe to my channel. See you very soon. Bye for now.